Hey guys, Michael here with the Daily Note. So today I want to talk about all the settings that I had to change on Dex to get it as close to my Windows 10 machine because, you know, it's 2017 and I'm sure everyone, including myself, have really high standards on how a PC should run. And I've gotten accustomed to uh, how I expect things to run on a PC and I believe that Dex can definitely provide that if you make some tweaks and changes. Because if you remember my unboxing and first impressions video, I showed you just how much I liked it, but a lot of the things didn't seem to work or didn't work the way I wanted it to work. And uh, I found all of the solutions for that. So uh, those are the things I want to talk about. So let's plug this in. I have the clear protective case on the Galaxy Note 8. I believe that's the only one that works, unfortunately. All right, so first thing I wanna talk about is Dex developer options. So it's kind of like enabling developer options on, on any Android, except there's one specifically for Dex. So if you just go to Samsung Dex, and if you go to About Dex and click on this five times, you're gonna get this pop-up asking you if you wanna turn it on. However, I already turned it on, so it's asking me if I wanna turn it off, which I don't. So uh, if, when you turn it on, it fixes like 80 to 90% of the problems you were having. Unfortunately, it introduces new problems, but those new problems you could definitely handle. So I wanna show you some examples and the problems that you're kinda likely to see with an array of apps, but you should be able to apply these tips on uh, on the different types of apps depending on what kind of problems you're having. So I showed you that when you run, for example, Game Launcher, right? You could see that asphalt date uh, I showed in my previous video. Uh, a lot of the games won't be supported in Dex, however, but now that we've enabled developer options, you could just start it. And uh, here's the problem that you're gonna run into. You probably wanna run this full screen right but uh, by default every time you restart dex it kind of it's going to run in like a smaller window but when you resize it right you're going to have these issues where it kind of runs in the corner in very low resolution but what i want you to do is i want you to maximize it and then close it and then when you run the game again now it starts off full screen and it now runs at a much higher resolution if you have any similar issues, right, you could definitely apply that tip. Another one is kind of the opposite of that. Since we enabled developer options, you're going to see that all of these apps, when they open up, it's going to open up in kind of like in tablet mode. Unfortunately, you're kind of forcing it to run in tablet mode and it doesn't really have information on what things to display and it's going to probably just play the game really weird, right? So since having Dex developer options enabled always is gonna be the likely, the better thing to have enabled, right? What you want to do is you wanna resize it back into portrait mode. Just make the best guess and once again, close it. And when you start it up again, And now the game operates as it should, and you can still enjoy it on Dex if you really want to. So my next tip is for Facebook and YouTube, especially YouTube. YouTube, you, you're running it in essentially tablet mode, which I never thought was really well done. And I think they've kind of abandoned the tablet version of YouTube, but it's kind of still there. But yeah, it's like you have the description of this part of the video, and then you have to scroll down into this part to make any comments. It just it's just really sloppy. So instead of that, you should just use the Chrome browser. So if you use a Chrome browser and make sure you request a desktop site for each of these. Okay, if you request a desktop site, now it's just like running YouTube and Facebook on your desktop. You don't need to run the apps, just run it off the browser and exactly like the way you want to use it and exactly like Facebook and YouTube wants you to use YouTube and Facebook when you're using a desktop. All right, so last but not least, I want to talk about Netflix. So you could definitely get Netflix working on Samsung Dex uh, for right now. I think this is the way to get Netflix working and let's hope in the future, 
Netflix has updated their app so that we don't have to do this, but Netflix is very peculiar in a way. So after you install Netflix and after you log in, for example, say that you installed Netflix on your Galaxy Note 8 as you are using it as a mobile device, and when you log into it, it kind of knows that, or it kind of records onto the app itself that it's a mobile device that it's running on. So when you plug your Galaxy Note 8 into the Samsung Dex dock, you get this error message. There's a problem playing this video. Please try again, 1.20. And what's interesting is uh, when you uninstall this app and when you log into it, when you start it up and you log into it, as you have it plugged into the Samsung Dex dock, then it'll actually run again. And the problem is now it's recorded into the Netflix data somewhere in the settings that it's running on kind of like a tablet almost. So when you disconnect your phone from the Dex dock and you try to run the Netflix app, you're going to get the same error message. So uh, that's the state of where things are at with the Netflix app at this moment in 2017, uh, in October 3rd, I guess. So if you really, really must run Netflix on your Dex dock, you could either clear the data or just simply uninstall and reinstall it. And just a quick usage tip. So one thing I really like doing on Windows 10 is when I want to launch an app, I just go to the Windows button and I start typing. Unfortunately, you kind of have to click again and search for you to do that. And it's not really intuitive. So another uh, workaround for that is they have this neat little finder here. And then you could just search for apps or settings. So if you want to search for uh, Asphalt, right, it's there. Or if you want to search for settings, right, all the uh, settings can be searched for really quickly. And one last tip, you're going to see that by default, when you connect to HDMI, it's going to start playing audio right through the speakers of the Galaxy Note 8. And unfortunately, what you can't do and what this deck stock doesn't provide is an audio jack and you have no access to your audio jack. So the workaround for that is to definitely route your audio to the HDMI device. So these HDMI cables, they actually uh, do video and audio. Unfortunately, this monitor right here is very old and it doesn't have speakers, but it actually receives the audio signal and it provides at least an uh, audio out stereo 3.5 millimeter stereo jack. Or another solution may be to just use a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth speaker connected to your Galaxy Note 8. Or maybe you have good speakers on your television or monitor already. So uh, what you need to do is to pass audio through your HDMI cable. It might not be enabled by default, so you could go to this up triangle. And you should see Samsung Connect and then go to Audio Output. And then you could switch between your Galaxy Note 8 speakers and your HDMI display device. Now, if you don't have even these settings, you actually have to go to your settings here. So you could go to the Finder and type in Samsung Connect. And you could see there's this Samsung Connect thing here. And just go to these three little dots and go to Settings. And then you want to enable the Samsung Connect panel. So you could see that when I disable that, that uh, Samsung Connect thing is gone. But when I enable that, this thing is there so that you could route your audio through the HDMI cable. So there you go. Those are all my tips for the Samsung Dex station. And what's really great about this is that when you're working on the Dex station PC, you're working with all the apps and data that's installed on your Galaxy Note 8. So you always have it with you. And when you're computing, it's also charging your device on here, which I think is great. So anyways, those are all the tips that I have for you today. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.